usual crowds are there to see His Majesty drive from St. James's Palace for the investiture. And they stay on to watch the important people, many in imposing uniforms, leave after the ceremony. America's latest streamlined train sets out on its first journey from Cleveland to Detroit, a modern giant of power, speed and comfort. Aboard this express they say that even the food is good, and at the bar they serve cocktails shaken by hand instead of by the train. It's the sort of iron horse that would make George Stevenson think he was dreaming. A lot of well-known people come to London's famous church for fashionable weddings, to witness the marriage of the Honourable David Brand, second son of Viscount and Viscountess Hamden, to the Honourable Imogen Rees, only daughter of Lord and Lady Dinever. When the bride arrives, the crowd breaks through the police cordon and surges forward to see her lovely gown of cream satin and train of old Brussels lace. And not content with that, they stay on to see the bride and bridegroom leave after the ceremony. When flames lick the sky in the city danger zone, it's touch and go whether the damage will be a few hundreds or a few hundred thousands. This time it's a printing works in Farringdon Street, and they're fighting it with the new hundred foot water towers. something new in the way of a beauty competition. They aren't displaying the frightfully latest in Paris models or the terribly newest in streamlined figures, but just the absolutely prettiest in twinkling tootsies. So a little beauty treatment and they're all set to foot the bill. It's the feet we said, lads, so concentrate. And here are some of the neatest things in shoes which the promoters of the competition must have regarded as veritable corns in Egypt. Did you ever see such fascinating trilbies? The girls literally walked away with their prizes. 